Hey guys, I'm Megan. I love to travel, but my passion is medicine. I'm a first year medical student. Subscribe to my channel so you can go through the highs and lows of medical school with me. Let's all go on this journey together. afternoon everyone it is Sunday afternoon I am loving all of these crazy little curly Q hairs that have escaped my bun <laughs> it is insanely humid this morning um, so I just got done at the hiking trail that I went to with some uh, students from KCU we did six miles and this was a really beautiful area um, Smithville Lake is huge and we just saw one very small part of it today. So we all agree that we want to come back and explore some more. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm very sweaty and gross. I'm going to go home and get cleaned up and, uh, I'll chat with you guys later. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Monday, July 18th officially week two of med school. It's our last week of orientation. Um, so this morning we did just a bunch of class work on um, being sensitive to, not being sensitive, being knowledgeable to all the different kinds of patients that we are going to encounter. So people from different ethnic backgrounds, religious backgrounds, um, you know, maybe sexual preferences that are not um, the same as mine, you know, so we just talked a lot about um, the differences from ourselves that we might encounter and how to do so professionally and to handle conflict professionally. And um, so, yeah, it, today was, um, <clears throat> it was a good morning ate lunch at campus and then from one to three i'm in scrubs today as you can see we had our first excuse me i just ate a snack um had our first lab so it was our first osteopathic manipulative medicine lab so that's what we learned that's similar to what a chiropractor might do um so on lab days we can wear scrubs or we can wear uh, loose, comfortable clothing that moves well um, so that we can learn all the techniques on each other. So today we really just went over a lot of um, language and terminology that you can use to refer to the body and did a few exercises to kind of, uh, you know, show us how sensitive our fingertips can be and, and all the things that they can feel. So I just ran home for a quick snack and to give the dogs a potty break. And then I have to be back on campus in a few um, because we're also gonna be doing today our first standardized patient encounter. So that is in a setup that's very much like a doctor's office. It's It's got the exam bed, it's got the desk with the computer and everything. And they have actors that are trained to um, behave like patients. So we are going to go in. Now today is not for a grade. Um, obviously today is, is more uh, just kind of learning what will be expected of us. But um, so I have to be there at 430 and I get briefed on the situation that I'm going into. Um, so I guess, you know, I might be told something verbally or just get the patient's records. Um, and then at 4.45, I will actually go in and have 15 minutes with the patient. Again, today, I don't really think they expect us to do an examination or anything because we haven't learned any of that yet. Um, I think today is just mostly about talking. So, and just kind of getting a feel for what a patient encounter is going to be like. And then after you finish your patient encounter, you um, exit and you do your charting. So you write your notes about the patient encounter. So yeah, today will be my first experience with doing that as a student and kind of seeing what will be expected of me there. So I'm gonna brush my teeth and get back to campus. Chat with you later. Oh 
good evening everyone my patient encounter exercise went really well it was super easy today they were just um you know kind of showing us the ropes on how to do one successfully in the future when it's for a grade so i just got done at the gym at school and i'm gonna head home for the night well, good evening, everyone. It is Tuesday the 19th. I completely forgot to vlog at all this morning. Um, today at school was a good day. We um, had a lot of classes on race, ethnicity, implicit bias, um, explicit bias. Um, you know, just a lot of relevant topics related to how we can best treat our patients in the future and how to facilitate good communication. So um, did a lot of those sort of training classes and then um, had some speakers come from the um, human anatomy lab that are going to be teaching us um, on the cadavers. And I actually learned, um, I'm not gonna be calling them cadavers anymore because that's kind of an antiquated term. We are going to call the bodies we will be dissecting donors. Um, cadaver is kind of impersonal and we are calling um, these wonderful people donors because they were so kind to donate their bodies to us. And um, so we try to give them, uh, you know, just even more dignity and death by honoring them with the name donor. So, um, <laughs> yeah, good good day at class. We had a lot of good like group discussions on, um, you know, maybe bias um, or you know just issues we've seen in our personal lives or things that might have happened to us. Or so, good day. Um, I just got home a little bit ago at like 4.30, I took the dogs for a walk, gave them their dinner, filmed a YouTube video for my uh, pre-med advice series that I'm doing. And now I've got a swimsuit on because it is 1000 degrees outside. Um, I think the heat index last time I checked was 102. So I'm gonna go get in the pool and I will chat with you guys later. Good evening, everyone. It is Wednesday the 20th. Um, today was alma mater theme day at school. So I wore, I have like this Louisiana, uh, shirt. I don't have any summertime appropriate alma mater clothes, which a lot of people ended up having the same issue. Um, but yeah, so that was fun. They, for lunch, they provided lunch and they had you sit with people who attended college in your, um, same state or state, same region. So I got to meet some new people in my class today and had some really nice discussions. Um, there was a guy who was born and raised in Southern India, a guy, um, a girl who um, grew up in the United States, but was adopted from Nepal and learned a lot about her Nepali background. And um, there was a girl who was born and raised in South Korea and then she moved here for her undergraduate degree. So um, I'm just really impressed with the cohort that KCU has put together for this year. Um, everybody I talked to has done something really interesting. Uh, some people have worked, some people have researched. Um, there's a wide variety of ages. I've actually met uh, a few more tradi uh, non-traditional students like myself. Um, so I'm feeling a little less of the age gap with my some of my peers. Um, yeah, so today was good. We Our morning curriculum was on mental health and wellness. And then this afternoon we talked more about some um, study strategies, note-taking strategies, how to stay organized, um, using a planner. And I know a lot of it sounds kind of rudimentary, but I know not everybody is quite as anal as I am. <laughs> and like, I'm obsessed with my planner and making lists, but there could be a lot of people that aren't. And I have been previewing our course load 
for next week and it's going to be imperative to stay organized. So I see why they include this as part of the orientation curriculum. So we had a full day from like 8.30 to 4.30. So I am moderately tired. I ate dinner. It's like seven o'clock now and I have not bought a planner yet for this upcoming school year. I don't know how that hasn't happened because I love buying planners. Um, <laughs> but so I'm trying to psych myself to either go buy a planner or go to the gym. I really should go to the gym because I didn't go yesterday. But I'm so tired today. I don't know why, but I am. And tomorrow's a long day. I have to be on campus at 7.30. So that's leaving the house at 7. Um, and not getting back to campus until like 5 p.m. They're putting us on buses and we're going to go do an off-campus like team building activity all day. So uh, I guess it's indoor, outdoor. They said to dress very comfortably, like wear tennis shoes. So <laughs> who knows what we're getting signed up for. But it's supposed to be like team building and resilience training. And um, so I guess I'll let you know what all that's about tomorrow. But I don't know if anybody can send me some energy, just like mentally. I really need it today so I can go to the gym. Okay, bye. Well, new plan. I'm gonna go read my book by the pool <laughs> and I'm not gonna go get a planner and I'm not gonna go to the gym because anything outside of sitting sounds too hard right now. <laughs> So I'm just gonna listen to my body. I guess I'm tired for a reason and I'm gonna allow myself to just relax tonight. So I'm gonna get out to the pool. Shade. I guess I feel like it's too hot, but like, we could like, I don't know. So I'm gonna try to be quick. Um, school brought us to a place in Kansas City called Unity Village today. Um, it's kind of like a center for spiritual wellness, I guess you would call it. Um, so we're doing like some resiliency training and learning more about our peers. Um, but it's in the most beautiful place. And so at lunchtime, we were encouraged to go outside and just like take a walk and think and it's been a really beautiful place to do that so I will chat with you guys later. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It is Saturday the 23rd. Um, my mother has come to town and because today is gonna to be my white coat ceremony at school. So yesterday after school, I just hurried up and ran home so I could clean and get ready. And uh, we went out to eat last night. And now this morning we are at the farmer's market at City Market and I'm showing her around. Well guys, good evening. We had a, an awesome day at White Coat Ceremony. School put on just a really nice, really nice ceremony. And then um, some friends and family that came to visit and um, some classmates of mine, we went to a brewery and just enjoyed uh, some good conversation and some food. So I am walking the dogs. It's like 8.30. I am worn out, so I think it's going to be an early bedtime for me, and I will chat with you guys tomorrow.